government annex your 12 or not yes your lordship Based then why we should not initiate uh, criminal proceedings under section 340 for misleading this court why we should not by the district education officer all right you face uh, criminal proceedings for misleading this court when you are swearing an affidavit uh, and right. filing before this court uh, is it not your uh, duty to examine each and every aspect of the matter lordship since that document was already it was in existence and based on subsequent developments new facts have, emer have emerged the intention of respondent was never to misguide no, when the when the uh, anajya 12 was uh, already existing on our file how can you uh, uh, give your uh, version contrary to the document ravi prakash well this compound please explain uh, nx 12 uh, in the light of your uh, para 7 in counter affidavit yes, in an excerpt 12 you have admitted that he was working he worked during the period 1962 to 70 in year 7, 1970 he went on unauthorized absence uh, leave uh, whether uh, uh, leave was taken or not so it is contradictory to your averment you know chip the annex 12 is an order which was passed in 2014 subsequent to further developments in the case in uh, in the current lbb asked the district education officer to once again examine it following which new facts have emerged that this was a school which was acquired or taken over in 1976 uh, from the date with retrospective effect from 11 1971 so prior to that this these schools were privately managed by a committee and these are called about 53500 odd schools in the entire states were taken up no oh, whether is it contrary to your uh, uh, sorry the document uh, your affidavit is contrary to document annex 12 or not yes your lordship Based then why we should not initiate uh, criminal proceedings under section 340 for misleading this court why we should not the lordships based on the updated report which was sent to the uh, directorate by the district education officer all right you face criminal proceedings for misleading this court when you are swearing an affidavit and right. filing before this court is it not your uh, duty to examine each and every aspect of the matter lordship since that document was already it was in existence and based on subsequent developments new facts have, emer have emerged the intention of Respondent was never to misguide. No, we, when the when the uh, annex 12 was uh, already existing on our file, how can you uh, uh, give your uh, version contrary to the document annex 12? Based based on subsequent developments. What subsequent development? That the that this has annex 12 has been withdrawn, cancelled, modified. Your lordship, further reports have been sent by the district, your lordship, which which. Uh, now bring to light further development overrides this uh, annex 12 whether it has been withdrawn we will we'll act to, towards in that direction then lordship no why we should not initiate contempt proceeding as a uh, uh, proceedings under 340 your okay, lordship we humbly apologize for that perhaps file your affidavit seeking apology you have mentioned in this annex 12 that on the basis of record uh, it uh, it has been made clear to district program officer that uh, he joined on 3rd of uh, march 1962 and worked till 1970 now you are saying that there is no documents available so uh, uh, which were the documents which were available at the time you know when this order was passed you know just we have tried since this is a very cool matter so there were the records which were available in district have been very scant i have been able to find uh, attendance records of that school rajki ahmed vidyalay kudia based on uh, and this this is the attendance record of 1983 to 84 in which the petitioner's name does not figure so apart from that you know how is the name was figured for the first time in the record on what date his name was uh, for the first time uh, reflected in the uh, record that information from the no, you have not examined all those things your lordship based on the report which i have received from the district your lordship so you are depending upon only report you don't want to examine personally 
constitutional committee which has examined it thoroughly in the schools and i have report from the principals also which i will be submitting in my all right sir for the first time how his name was reflected in the record if your version is required to be accepted in that event some uh, officer must be uh, uh, in collu- uh, in collusion with the petitioner he must have created a document రవి ప్రకాష్ డైరెక్టర్ ప్రైమరీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ బీఆర్ పట్నా ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ది కోర్ట్ he admits that uh, there is a error committed in the affidavit in terms of order dated 12 2013 uh, 23 so it is a case for uh, initiation of uh, proceedings under section uh, 340 of uh, crpc However, he has not produced the complete records before swearing an affidavit and uh, on the other hand, he has dependent on, he has a dependent on his subordinates instructions to his staff. An officer before the next state of hearing. list this matter next week you have to come from which place from patna Pat- Pat- uh, come do you uh, check the documents on which he based his satisfaction that district program officer if he is not available see the patel